Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the following example. Find the antiderivative of cosine x to the power of 2 minus sine x to the power of 2 with respect to x. Step 1. Think about something you've learned back in M H F for you. So this is also known as grade 12 math, specifically grade 12 advanced functions. And the three ideas I hope you can reactivate. When you go back to the double angle formula, let's say cosine of 2a, and we'll put brackets here around the angle. One concept is to remember that cosine of 2a equals to cosine square a minus sine square a. And this is what we're going to use in a moment. But since we're reactivating this concept, the other two concepts that you should think about are 1 minus 2 times sine a to the power of 2. Or this is the same as 2 times cosine a to the power of 2 minus 1. Now, again, I'm going to switch colors here so you can see the connection. This is the same as cosine of 2a. This means I can express the entire example as the integration of cosine of 2a, or I should say 2x. Let's go back. So in this case, this is going to be cosine of 2x. And I'm finding the antiderivative with respect to x. Now, what this means is the antiderivative of cosine is going to be sine of 2x. Don't forget you're dividing by the derivative of 2x, which is going to be 2. And you're adding a constant c. Now, if you want to double check your final answer, spend one extra minute. All you have to do is find a derivative. So I'll talk about this. But I would like you to try this first. And if you're stuck, you can comment below. Maybe I'll look into this and see what I can do. But when you find a derivative of half times sine of 2x plus c, first of all, the constant will become 0 because the derivative of any constant becomes 0. And if you think about sine of 2x divided by 2, the half goes to the front. When you take the derivative of sine of 2x, that's going to be cosine of 2x times the derivative of 2x, which is 2. Since you have 2 times half, that's going to be 1. This will give you back cosine 2x, which equals to cosine square x minus sine square x. I hope this makes sense.